One and another, 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 another. Yow! What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. I am back. Um, and uh, Lucky Luke is joining the server. We are getting going here again. It is uh, one, uh, one to one right now. SG1 uh, versus Kick Esports. I need to get some water, get some drink. To bring you guys the best hype possible. Tell your wife, tell your kids. We still got uh, a good amount of TF2 action ahead of us. Uh, tied 1-1 right now, and um, we have 23 minutes left on this map. If it um, goes in SG1's favor, um, we're going to see a map 3, so that's pretty yeah, exciting. Yeah, was, was, uh, thanks for the one on Mumble that created me. It's not well, so it was. And um, also, six hours from now, we're going to be having an ESEA invite cast as well, maybe followed up by an ESEA open cast of two 9-0 undefeated teams. Right now, Astana is picking up a double kill with a little uh, help from Harry Hook. Uh, kills off both the SG1 scouts. That's really going to make it a little easier to push into uh, second here, as SG1 does not uh, know where Kick Esports is at all. Yeah, Uber forced to be popped by Blue Team. Um, Royce looks like they're going to back out now. Astana goes down. Um, Red Team still upstairs. Red Shock gets uh, bum rushed down by Hinzy. Just takes a couple shots and it's starting to unravel a little bit for red team here. Uh, at least for yeah, this attack. Yeah, that's three down. It's three down for kick. They surely they have to run now and they have no demo either to stick you off uh, and and have any uh, area advantage. Mm hmm. So uh, SC1, they are doing correct. They are pushing hard, but actually, voice has the user. And the jackal, he's on sixty percent only. Uh huh. So blue team uh, having a back back out here. Himsy about to respawn. Pumpu and Mafu still on their way. Without the demo man, always tougher to hold. And it uh, looks like they're gonna back out here. Red team coming in strong. Should be able to capture easily here. Oh wait, no. There's the Uber. Excuse me. <laughs> Look at Pescanova. Uh, he's been oh. spot finally. He was trying to get a sneaky, sneaky uh, hiding spot there, but he didn't land on it. Good play by the scouts there um, on SG1 and uh, taking out Royce. And uh, actually, that's going to be a really big uh, swing there. Well, look at Red Shark. Is he going for a back cap there? He's going for the medic, I guess. He's uh, really going straight for it. And there is the back cap oh. there. The Time has been <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Awesome. It didn't work out. That that could have been uh, the jackal going down the right here. So yeah. Sneaky, uh, kick players. Wow, what a big double kill there. And um, I think Kick Esports uh, lost a bit of their tactics, but I mean, we still got to see some of their just raw fragging power there as uh, Big Mike um, coming in and getting that double kill, taking out the jackal, and um, you know, kind of resetting uh, the the medic situation once again. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting uh, team as Kick. Uh, I think they uh, they play a lot more similar to uh, the um, American style than to the European style, which is doing all these kind of guerrilla kills on the medic and then never sort of backing down until they're dead. Mm, yeah, it's very aggressive, uh, focused. Well, medic is what the game revolves around. Red team going very aggressive, reeling off three kills in just like two seconds. That was insane. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm, I'm surprised uh, Hintz and Kuka are uh, usually the best scouts in terms of DM and, and QRA and Harry Hook and Stannis. They keep on getting meat shots onto them. Yeah, yeah, th those two are playing quite well today. Um, Red Shock went down, though, to a nice sticky chop by Mafu. Blue team with the Uber. Um, you know, might be able to push in here. Royce um, is about 40% behind, but uh, the more that SG1 waits, uh, Kick might actually have the Uber by the time they, they fight. Looks like they are going to back off uh, of the middle point, though. Starting to come back in, though. Yeah, this is uh, actually a backup going. Royce 95%. Is he going to be able to kill? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Stantis has it. Royce actually jumps over everybody. 
Going for the Uber stop. <laughs> oh, Astonis actually. Oh, gets blocked by Cookie. What a frag by Cookie. Perfect timing to stop that cap. Uh, OMG. Uh, lucky Luke got the camera over there just in the nick of time as well. But again, we're, we're back to square one. Uh, SD1 have to retake middle all over again because of that one scout that uh, keeps on being sneaky. And again, that's got to be Harry Hook this time. Wow. <laughs> These scouts, it's, uh, I'd say uh, I, I play soldier now and uh, what I, I prefer to do often is, is just to wait on the second point as we're pushing in because it's just a runner, one scout can destroy the whole round. Yeah. Um, yeah, the same time that back half was going on, which is working really well, Himsey had a nice attack going on on Royce, was not able to kill him though, and now SG1 has used the Uber to secure the middle point, but Kick Esports and Royce, the back and forth is going to continue, they are just about to get the Uber charge here. Yeah, they have to back off there, they're going to get forced if they stand so close, uh, they are 3 versus the whole team right now. Yeah, and uh, one scout gets out along the side. Not gonna go for the flank though. The Uber popped. Red shock. Uh, yeah, no kills yet. Yeah, does finally get Hawks. That's really not worth it. They got popped for nothing there. Really, they even yeah. lost the player. They they pushed back the blue team, but um, didn't really get much kills there. No, because now the uh, blue team, of course, they're gonna have the Uber advantage uh, with 60%, and they uh, presumably are gonna have a full team when they push for that Uber. Yeah. They're getting uh, buffs up right now, and Pumpu is starting to uh, respawn as well. Yeah, 95% for the Jackal. They should be pushing any second. I uh, would love to, uh, for them to push through the choke point, the right side for the attackers. They're not going to do it, I think. Which means they will be forced pretty early out. Scout Uber! Yeah. <laughs> Aggressively trying to get up to Roy's, get in his face, shoot him down. Does barely any damage though, and Roy's is going to get the Uber. Split seconds. Oh, Pescanova goes down low to the sticky trap. Now coming out with the Uber, switching it. Make sure both players are safe. Demoman toss in the air. Uh, Look at that, the three down that kick, and they're on the wrong side. They have to get back to their point now. Yeah. That, again, they didn't really accomplish a whole lot in uh, putting him at an Uber disadvantage. Actually, they're going to get caught out here. Um, yeah, this is really bad news. I would love to see one scout now running for last because uh, he'll be home free. Actually, yeah. they're getting spawners, uh, the three that died. They're still in an excellent position, 15% to Uber. Um, that's basically just five seconds or so. Um, but the Jackal does go down to Pescanova. Uh, however, just too much manpower for SG1. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. SG1 takes the lead in this map. Um, and uh, that'll force a, a third map if they take this. Yeah, I think I think if SG1 are gonna win this, uh, they uh, need to keep on doing this. They they just do it stable. They have their routine. Uh, they don't run in guns blazing. Three versus six. They just take it their at their pace, and uh, I think they're gonna end up on top in the end if they keep on doing that. Red, Red Shock was just a little bit slow to the middle, um, just kind of barely missed, misstepped. Um, and then he kind of got called out and took a ton of damage. They knew where he was going to be. And obviously losing your demo man is such a huge loss. Um, TF2, I mean, you only are allowed one medic and one demo man because they're both so powerful. So anytime either of those classes are missing, uh, they better be missing on the other other team. Otherwise, you're, you're definitely fighting an uphill battle. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's damage output, but it's also uh, positional area coverage by these element. Mm -hmm. Both Ubers popped on the point. Trying to come back in here, but good spam by Red so far. Himsey down lowest. Um, Pumpu um, kind of at about half health as well. Oh, but Mafu and Himsey uh, combining to get big moves in Red Shock. And now kick Esports in a tough spot again. Yeah, they have to just run here, and I, I bet SC or uh, Des1 are just gonna keep on rolling now with the man advantage. Probably several weak players for uh, Kiki as well. And uh, that, was, that was two very important kills. It was Uber standoff, and uh, I think that the uh, the Red Scouts would have gone for a back out, uh, not soon after, if they had all men on deck. Mm hmm.
Um, blue team getting posted up on the right hand side. They do have the charge. Stannis just starting to respawn. Uh, pressure out forces the Uber a split second earlier by red team. Cookie down for blue. And uh, other blue scout doing a great job of just running by the entire red team. Drawing some fire. But that's about all blue is going to be able to do for that attack. Yeah, cook guy now. Is he going to go sniper? Yep, he is going sniper. And that's going to be one to look out for, I think. Yeah, Kuki, an absolutely beast player uh, with the heavy, um, you know, and just kind of the layout of Granary. You can get some big kills on um, on Sniper. I like this left-hand side hold uh, by Royce. Um, I don't know, uh, it seems a little bit different from what I'm used to. A lot of I've seen players more so uh, hanging the right-hand side, uh, staying back by the stairs. Stannis has gotten picked on Himsey, Um so it's also good news in terms of counter-sniping Cookie here. Yeah, definitely a snipe war going on between those two. Yeah. Oh, Look it up, caught it's out so though. It's so just rotate over. Yeah, Cookie definitely played that encounter too long. Sticky's getting cleared out by both soldiers. I mean, SG1, they can just keep on defending here because uh, they have the uh, the advantage now. Uh, soldier actually going to try to see if he can back up. Boom, boom. Wow, big kill on Pescanola as well, by him. Um, that was uh, a bit of a mistake, a misstep, uh, pushing in with uh, Big Moose. He's going to have to scramble back here to help defend, but just too much pressure. I don't think they have the, the players here. Royce is probably going to go down at some point. Going for the Ubersaw. Oh, he gets 100%. He's going to get the Ubersaw. <laughs> no! Oh, they jumped. Oh, you're not going to do that against Hulk one of the best aims as a soldier in Europe. Yeah, uh, what a, what a that great been... win by uh, throwing those rockets at the feet of Roy's. Of course, when you're uber charged, you block the capture of the point, um, getting those uber saws. But um, I think really kick esports fell apart there when uh, Big Moose tried to, to get forward, round the corner, and attack the Jackal. And he just got killed so quick. And then Blue Team was just like, nope, let's roll out. And um, just all the pressure after that was just too much. Yeah, it's, it's what I'm saying, SC1, if they keep on just taking it slow here, uh, keep it together and let, let the kick come to them. That's what's happening on middle right now, and, and they're just dragging them out. It's, uh, it's uh, what's it called, dividing the men from the boys here right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely, and um, that's uh, we were talking about formats, formats earlier in the cast, and I think that's one of the things that's so interesting about playing on different maps back to back. Um, you know, if we had just played to five on Badlands, it was going to be kick esports without a doubt. Um, you know, if we're just playing to five on Granary, it looks pretty much like it's going to be SG1 without a doubt. Um, but the different maps, you know, it's so situational. And uh, really, Team Fortress is a battle of uh, individual deathmatch. It's a battle, a battle of team strategy um, and positioning, all these other aspects as well. But once you start throwing multiple maps into the loop, you know, it, it really, who is the best Team Fortress 2 player, you know, uh, at this time, uh, at this moment, you know, not necessarily who is the best Badlands player or the best Badlands team. It's just, it makes it so much more overall. It's very interesting. Um, and we will probably be seeing a third deciding map here, which is going to be really exciting. Yeah, it, it just keeps on going this uh, night at TF2. I'm, I'm looking forward also to getting uh, <laughs> a bit of vacation in the weekend. But yeah, it is it is very exciting this so far. And SG1 uh, taking back their pride against Kick. Yeah, Himsey gets a kill on Harry Hook. Uh, Cookie doing a lot of pressure as well. Takes out Pesca Nova. Himsey down now, but um, without the heavy, without the soldier. Red team definitely in a tough spot. Roy's no Uber whatsoever. Um, and down to half health. Jackal's still pretty healthy. Soldier's jumping over the top of blue on top of rail now. Uh, that height control, very important. Player's getting on the point, but it might get... Oh, they do get the capture. It'll be a close one. It's going to be so tough to uh, for uh, Kick to come back from this. They're already playing sort of the desperate tactics, which is all yeah. guns in, uh, and it's not been working out. And what can they do otherwise now? Because now they're really starting to, to feel the pressure over the time. Uh huh. Um, we'll see if SG1 puts it away here. Kick Esports, you know, definitely has the time that um, they could reel off three quick rounds on Granary. 
Um, it does happen. We're not uh, out of this yet. But SG1, of course, has been looking quite dominant. Red Shark gets a kill on Pumpu, but Pumpu did take out Roy's. Uh, Mapu again connects with a bottle. Um, and uh, yeah, Red Shark looks like they're clearing up. Yeah, they're actually clearing up. Uh, SG1 uh, being a little bit over creators there. Uh, they killed the medics for the way. They could have just fallen out. Uh, save the Uber and and then push back in. Uh huh. And uh, nice uh, nice kill on Hawks here. You can see that long range rocket. Uh, you guys got to see by Big Moose taking him out. <clears throat> Red team gonna capture middle with ease um, and then switch uh, switch spawns for some of their players. <clears throat> um, eight and a half minutes left here. SG1, if they get one more round, could put it away. I yeah, would have loved to see uh, Royce uh, run with Fritz by now, um, just to shake shake up the tempo of the game. Uh, right now, SG1 are really commanding, taking control over the uh, map. Yeah. See, I'd like to see Kick doing something different. Uh, not necessarily because it's tactically better, it's just a strategy to, uh, to shake it up. Yeah, and uh, shaking it up is definitely important. Uh, Red Team now jumping in here. Uber's being flashed around, but SG1 has not used their Uber yet. Now I'm going to Uber back into him. Should be able to get some very good damage here as the uh, soldiers already jumped quite a ways and cut off the red uh, medic. Oh, comes down with a shotgun on him. Pumpu finally finished off. It looks like Big Moose gets taken out by Himsey. Both scouts up for red team. Oh, uh, well, now Harry Hook is down. Stani's trying to work the point, and uh, that would make it a wipe for Kick Esports. Yeah, Himse is picking up the pace. He's uh, he's got some very fierce mute shots the past 15 minutes. Uh, I've been checking him now. Uh, very different from the past map. He is starting to get warmed up. Uh huh. SG1 pushing forward here. Let's see if they can get a fifth cap here on this uh, on this map. Yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, game over. It's seven minutes remaining now. Uh, it's, if they get this last one, it's going to be game over for uh, okay. a map over, rather. Yeah, definitely. Um, you can uh, capture you know, a round uh, in two minutes. Harry Hook uh, gets two big kills, runs back. Wow, actually gets credit for that kill on uh, Cookie as well. Now throwing down a ton of damage on Mafu. Scouts cleaning up the house there. Yeah, and uh, we need to see the spirit of TCM in these players okay, already up. right now. Um, they need to just be surging forward as fast as possible. If they're going to have any chance at, at taking this. Kumpu uh, was uh, staying for a ninja, maybe trying to back up, but he got uh, he got busted, but he did kill Stannis uh, in return. Which means he's still behind Kick, and Kick has to be aware that they have sword behind him. Yeah, SG1 Mafu uh, coming out from Garage, surprising Harry Hook, taking him out. Roy switching over with his soldier to the left hand side, putting the pressure back on the blue team. Good kill by Big Mike. The control point is being captured. What? Uh, Roy is there making a very crucial mistake in trying to snipe the house back. Uh, didn't do him, him many favors, and it seems that Kick forgot. That they did have the soldier behind at the look of the back cap though. Yeah, great back cap by Stannis. Gonna be successful. Um, to Jackal back there and actually with his needles takes out takes him out. Uh, going to get the capture back, but Red Team has already kind of shifted their position forward. Red Shock takes out Pumpu. Oh wow, Harry Hook, a great kill on him Z to protect his medic. But uh, again the clock just ticking away here. Uh, as SG1 just slowing things down. Um, I think uh, Kiki Sports playing with a little bit more confidence, which should help him out once we go over to Goalie Wash here. Yeah, I think Goalie Wash is a map that suits some of their players better, in my opinion. Uh, especially, uh, I've seen the Spanish scouts, uh, at least one of them, Harry is doing very, very well for Team Spain in the Nations Cup on Goalie Wash. Um, and eSports, just three players left. Um, Blue is capturing the point. I'm just trying to build an Uber to get in here. Stop it, there's the Uber. Jackal taken out. 
Yeah, and actually, Kick are going to get good bonus here, which means they could actually get more uh, back up into this uh, fight. Wow. <laughs> Uh, it's a crazy soldier fight between Big Moose and Pumpu. Um, Pumpu is just chasing around. Moose started trying to fire at Mafu. Was able to snag the health pack before going down. Um, and uh, I think we might have caught the end of that on the. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. Mind you, if Kick manages now to cap the last point, they do have a ther theoretical chance to get back into the game with the ritual run. Yes, definitely. Um, but they actually just lost three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, definitely a matter of uh, um, much importance, you know, as fast as possible. Um, every little moment, you know, you're trying to capture three rounds. Um, now that we're starting to get into the three-minute um, area of time, that's just that's just not going to happen. No, you know, I think by now we could actually safely call this map uh, in SD1's favor, which means a third. Map is gonna happen in Gully Wars. Awesome! Tell your wife, tell your kids. I'm gonna go tweet about it right now. I better not make myself look like a fool though if Kick Esports comes back. If Royce goes down though, <laughs> uh, I don't think it's gonna be happening. No, it's, uh, it's all five down, uh, I'd say it's five down, and oh, that might go down as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, that is. For those who love watching these kinds of games, very good news to have a uh, third map. Uh, if you're wondering what the hell kind of game this is, it's uh, the ESL Season 7 uh, Grand Final between two Premiership teams. And the winner also uh, is going to receive a thousand dollars, courtesy of Catman, a crazy Russian that loves the melody of two, as in the game style. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's been a great action. Uh, this whole tournament sounded really nuts. Uh, I haven't been able to follow much of it, but I'm seeing, I've seen the match tickers. Kick Esports have obviously stunned a lot of people by getting this far in the tournament. Power Gaming, you know, one of the top uh, teams in the scene. Definitely a bit of uh, uh, an upset in some eyes, probably, uh, on that first map. Now thanks going for SG1 on the second map. And Goalie Wash is going to be the all-important decider. Um, that's going to be intense. That's a really, really crazy map. We've seen a lot of craziness on Goalie Wash. Yeah. Let the Jackal toss up in the air. Don't think this attack is going to work. We jumping in on the point, though. Nope. Taken out. I'm just trying to find the uh, results for what's going on with the other two uh, events. Alright, awesome. That would be most appreciated. So if you are on the STV, uh, please send us a message. Send me a message. Uh-huh. And in that uh, free-to-play tournament, uh, the winners are going to be taking on... Um, uh, Robin Walker from Valve, uh, John Lippincott from Valve, who uh, developed the replay system, uh, as well as uh, Total Biscuit, uh, Shoutcaster, who's associated with the game station, Cynical Brit, he's pretty awesome. Oh, what a shot by Cookie, sneaking up on Royce. He shots him down. Uh, a little salt in the wounds right there, as 20 seconds left, and uh, this is uh, going to be winding down. Um, definitely a shout out to uh, you know the other games that are happening right now. I'm sure that a lot of the people that are watching those other games now will be watching this VOD later, um, and uh, vice versa. So you guys got to make sure that you guys surf the net. Thanks for joining us, uh, watching this stream. Uh, so much TF2 on a Thursday evening in Europe. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, all big stuff too, man. This free-to-play tournament is awesome. Um, the Calm FT Highlander tournament has gone great. Uh, that's a big match, and then of course the ESL Grand Finals, which is headed to a third map, um, an all-important decider map of Goalie Wash. Uh, the map is done here, the players are just wasting some time, uh, giving the STV uh, time to cycle over. Very, very smart of them.